Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Star of Wisdom, and this is hopefully the penultimate episode. What you gotta say, Wallace? Oh, I gotta talk to these guys. I'm hoping that in this episode... Yeah, that's right. That's that's what you have to say about the, the power of Team Oxygen. Um, In this episode, my goal is to finish the gym, go catch the Rayquaza slash a legendary, and go through Victory Road so that we're all set up for next episode to be the final challenge. Uh, so fingers crossed that that goes well. Let me go grab a couple more healing items real quick. So let's buy like 14 more hyper potions. We'll buy 19 more max potions. We'll buy 8 more full heals. Another 10 max repels. Oh wait, that's going to spend all my money. Um, yeah, okay, no, we're, we're probably fine. We're probably fine. Alright. Yes, so. Going in to do the gym right away here. We have Dinral from the end of last episode. Let us just double check what the moves are on Dinral because um, you are a physical attacker. So we've got Body Slam and Flamethrower. Okay, that's pretty good, honestly. Um, Flamethrower would be a special attack, but that's okay. Um, yeah, it's got Water Absorb, so that's that's fantastic. Um, should we bother training you up, or do we want to just... Uh, yeah, let's let's try training Dinral. We're, we're very behind in levels and experience, but oh well. Yep, all of Hoenn was saved. I did it. I'm the best. Oh, thanks. That's nice. I don't even know what that is. So that's, like, Rock Climb or something? Waterfall. Uh -huh. I see, I see. We're just gonna go through the gym. Oh, this is the, um, the ice floor gym. Yep. Ah, oh, thanks. That's great. Good advice, buddy. Right. I actually have to walk around. Um, I'm fine with dropping down here. I'm, I'm good to, to fight trainers and get some extra XP. So yeah, last episode I decided that I would edit stuff down just to help speed up the whole process. Wow, you are all level 40 now. Um, so I'll probably continue doing that throughout this episode just to continue speeding along the process. Oh, wow, nice. Good good paralyze. That's cool. That's real cool. But yeah, I'll, I'll keep editing throughout this episode and the next one. Flame body? That's just rude. <laughs> of course the elegant had flame body. Neat. Real neat. <laughs> Shake the screen furiously. <laughs> Earthquake! That's a pretty accurate uh, sound effect of how Earthquake works. Yes, do the puzzle the smart way. <laughs> I had a repel on that whole time. <laughs> yes. Um... Oh, I actually kind of want to fall here, though, before fighting Juan, because I want to fight more gym trainers. Just to prove that I could make it, I almost did. All right, there's a lot of trainers in this gym. Wow. Yeah, we like this water absorbed in roll. Hit me with a water move. I dare you. <laughs> I kind of, I kind of want to bait out a. Stop minimizing quillfish. <laughs> like it's got to have a water type move, right? I want to bait it out to heal me. <sighs> Minimize is one of the most annoying moves ever. Like, it would be cool to bait out a water move, but I'm not gonna, like, risk it for that particular biscuit. So yeah, I figure my Pokémon will all be around level 40 by the time I get to the Elite Four, um, which I think is probably an acceptable level. When I'm with my Pokemon, can't fly That's nice, Bethany. Cool feed, Bess. I have a Gyarados. But yeah, I figured that between the gym experience here and that nice crit, good crit, and then going through Victory Road, 
I should get all of my Pokemon up to around level level 40, maybe a little bit higher, which will still be underleveled for the Elite Four, but that's okay. Because I trust my Pokemon. And if I've learned anything from the Pokemon anime, it's that if you believe in your Pokemon, you can't lose. You, you just literally can't. Feels bad when you're in the last gym and you have a level 37 Spinarak on your team. Just, just feels bad. Yeah, at this point it's just all about the, the XP grind to be prepared to go through the Elite Four. Because I'm, I'm happy with the Pokémon I have. I'll probably switch out my Clefairy for whatever the Legendary is. Unless for some reason it's just really not optimal, in which case I have other choices in my PC that I could switch the Clefairy for. But... Again, I'm assuming that just the level of the of the Legendary will make it worth using. So does Weather Ball turn into an Ice type? Oh right, it doesn't have form change, right? <laughs> Forecast form. <laughs> Sets up hail and just gets whacked by it. Your grim look is so charming. My grim look? I, I feel pretty okay about things right now. I'm, I'm doing good here. Okay, now I have a grim look. Wow, really rare Pokémon. What rare Pokémon have you brought to this battle? Let's take a look. Oddish and Tyroak. Okay, I'm not that impressed. I'm just gonna be honest. Being completely honest, I am not in fact impressed. <laughs> hey, Clipuff. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, you hit my Deku Baba. Good, good work, bud. Alright, good damage on the... Wow, wow. Just the pulling out all the stops in this last gym. These trainers really are top of their game. Alright, so we are good to go and fight Juan. Thanks for all that XP. Got me caught up a little bit. All right, here we are at Juan. Let me just decide. I think I'm gonna run with Dinral in the front of the party because I can protect, and protect is cool. Did you know? Ah, I shall be so quiet. I was I who taught Wallace everything. Compelling a, re a compelling reason. Oh, is Wallace the champion in Emerald? Or is it still Steven? Or is Wallace just one of the Elite Four members? I think that might be one of the things. Cute. That's cute. That's a cute Torchic. Just uh, switch on over to my Water Dragon. <laughs> oh, a level 41 Torchic. Oh my goodness. It's adorable. You could have had a Blaziken several times over. But you have a Torchic. Oh, Juan. Did you really teach Wallace everything you knew? Because if so, I am looking forward to my odds in the in the league battle. So ready for the last team in the elite four to be like five Torchics and an Igly buff. <laughs> I mean, yeah, these Pokemon are high leveled, and Electabuzz we know has huge power, so that's scary, but gonna maybe hit me with a quick attack. Oh, okay, light screen, that's fair, that's fair. This this is actually setting up decently well right now. And we got a crit. Okay, so that's good. Nice. Ooh, Mistrevis. That's kind of fancy. Um, gonna bite it. It's cool. Level 43. Ooh, Sandstream. Alright, alright, I see you. Fighting in the desert now. Yep, you were gonna hurt yourself with that. And I'm gonna get hurt with it, of course, too. <sighs> of course you do that. That would be your plan here. Alright, Faron, you just have to break through. Come on. Bite it through the confusion. It's right in front of you. You can see it. You Aww. Buddy. Oh, you tried. 
Uh, might as well use my other super potion just to see what other moves this mischievous has. I don't think it gets any electric moves, which are my main concern here. But once again, no reason to risk it. Side beam, okay. Yeah, I can take a couple of those. Yep, take a little bit more chip, and now we will roll the dice to see if I can hit through. Ooh, me and Ooh okay, okay. I see you. We are now. I, I see your eye. I see you. Ha ha ha. We're uh, we're in with this. Gyarados versus Misdrevus here. Okay, that's a little bit scary. Um, between Sandstorm, Psybeam, and potentially another Confusion hit, I'm in a bit of danger there, so I'm actually just gonna heal again. Again, no reason not to. Damage. All right, light screen is done. I just need to wait for this confusion to wear off. Which, it doesn't wear off while I'm healing, but each turn that I heal buys me another turn that I might get to attack and attempt to snap out of it. No, Farron, don't be confused again, please. Okay, there we go, got the bite. Good damage, good damage. Um, I think I can do another bite here without healing. A little bit of sandstorm. Yeah, we'll be fine. Just don't crit and don't hit myself in confusion. Nice. Exactly what we wanted to see happen there. And more sandstorm. Um, one more sandstorm hit will take out Misdrevis after this. I think. Gonna heal again. Oh, right, healing. They can heal, too. They have, they have potions, too. Alright, well, at least I'm not confused. This sandstorm will never go away. So that's fun. We just get to sit through all this extra damage at the end of each turn. It's a fun time. Oops. Um, would Surf do more damage than Bite? Nah, we're just going to keep going for Bites. No, don't confuse me. Stop doing that. I'm, I'm not particularly concerned about this Misdrebus, it's just definitely the most annoying fight, because if I if I go too risky, I definitely will have the potential of fainting here. Come on, snap out of confusion. Snap out of confusion. Let's do it. Let's do it. Snap out. Oh, okay, hit through confusion. Hit through confusion. Oh, no. Fair on. No. No. Okay, I gotta heal up again. Maybe I will try a surf. Let's see if that does more damage. I mean, they're both using my. I definitely have a way higher physical attack stat, so honestly, I should use Earthquake. What are the chances that Misdreavus has has Levitate right? Super effective. Whoops. Let's go for an earthquake. Let's just try it. There we go. Snapping out of confusion. We got the earthquake. Doesn't have levitate. Excellent. Come on, do some damage. Yeah, there's that attack stat that we like to see. Alright, and then I'll go for one more bite. It's gonna just try to confuse me again here, isn't it? Pretty sure. Nope, okay. It's okay. I will gladly take that. Okay! Misdreavus is down! That was easily the most annoying Pokemon on the team. Golbat will switch out to Jirachi. Hit it with Psychic. Good work, Faron. You did good. You are a derpy Golbat. Yeah, Juan, setting up this sandstorm for your side of the field really is not helping you very much right now. Good. His whole team is confusion. This is the confusion gym. 
That's all it is. Okay, it's just gonna die from Sandstorm. Uh, he'll probably heal this turn, right? So I should just full heal. Actually, do I have a berry for healing confusion? That's what I should check first. Confusion berry, yes. Alright, snap out of confusion, go that, he gets healed up. Alright, that's fine. I will whack you with another psychic. You can whack me with another confuse ray because that's your whole plan in this fight. Which you know, fair. That's fair, I suppose. You can you can just try to confuse me to death. Yeah, okay. That's that's also cute. <laughs> Come on, you have one more Pokemon after this to really try and impress me. I think. I think you have one more Pokemon after this. Really show me what you got here, Juan. Come on, let's see something actually intimidating. Oh, you have your own Meganium. That's cool. That is cool. I respect that. You can breathe some fire on you. Wait, no, my Meganium has thick fat, doesn't it? Oh, and it's your level. It's your highest level. Hmm, okay. That's a little bit spooky. Little spooky. You know, yeah, you're 12 levels higher than me. Let me double check also. I'm pretty sure, yeah, thick fat. Um, So Flamethrower isn't even going to be doing a ridiculous amount. I actually want to go back into the garage. No, I could, I could go into... I'm going to Crobat. We can fly on it. Ha! <laughs> Outplayed! <laughs> Get wrecked, Meganium! <laughs> oh, fantastic. Alright. <laughs> nice, man. I'm outspeeding. Yep, body slam. That, that will do damage to me. That absolutely will do damage. But I think Crobat can take it. You gotta see this fly do a lot of damage here, though. Nice. Nice crit. Good work, Batro. Alright, and Meganium's down, and that is the 8th gym. That was an impressive last Pokemon, Juan. I'll give you that. Level 46 Meganium. That's, that's cool. Alright, so... That is all wrapped up. I'm lacking in elegance. Okay, yeah, you're joking. I was gonna say... I'm like, dude, don't tell me I'm not elegant. I am the most elegant. We're gonna go back to the tower. And catch ourselves a legendary. And that's why I'm gonna wait to teach Waterfall, because if it's like... a Suicune. Or a Lugia. Well, actually no, Lugia's not even a water type. I forgot to get the bike. Gotta go get the bike first. You know what? Mm, let's go to Pacific Log. It'll be easier to get back if I go to Pacific Log first. I can just fly there. I think I was really close to Pacific Log last time, and I just forgot to... Oh, I can't remember if I fought you last time or not. Ah, oh, I thought I was going to get past you. In the deep blue sea, a shadow blue heart finds covered my waves. I don't know why I thought she was singing, but you know what? She was. Aw, oh, another Torchic. Another Torchic versus my Water Dragon. This is nice. This is really nice. I'm glad you could all join me for this. <laughs> Atkins. <laughs> oh, you poor little snake backwards. <laughs> the earthquake attack animation is so good. <laughs> the person animating it was like, mm, let's just shake the screen a bunch. That, that pretty accurately captures an earthquake. Hey, there's Pacific Log. Alright. Um, you can't run on these. Okay, this is easy enough. Now we can fly back to Mauville, switch out the bike. Alright, thank you for the acro bike. I'm pretty sure this is what we need. Okay. Sky Pillar, round two. Yeah, you can go as fast as you want, Ninjast. <laughs> Electro Ball! <laughs> 
Oh, really? Was it Mock Bike that I needed all along? Okay. <laughs> Got the wrong bike, guys. Be right back. Say, weren't you just here about to switch your bike? I, you know, it takes a lot of time and effort for me to switch your bike around. That's kind of weird that you'd do that like this, but okay, if you say so, just don't come back to switch it again. Don't worry, bud. That was the last one. I promise. Sky Pillar! Round three. Alright. Use the bike. Go fast. We don't go fast. We go slow. We fall the hole. Stop running out of repels. I don't even know if I'm doing it wrong or something. Are there like multiple speeds that I can go at? I think I have to have... Aha! I did it! Oh, I don't want to fall more. Okay. Nope! Okay, well. So much for not wanting to fall more. Alright, bring up the bike. What? Oh, right, I have to fall down again. Like, over here, right? No, I had to fall in the middle! <laughs> You're kidding me. <laughs> oh, that's just mean. <laughs> okay, we made it back. Okay, good. That's where we want to be. Yes, right here. Then we go up this staircase, we go around here, we go up this staircase, and... Okay, I think... We're almost out. It's so close. Yes! Alright, Sky Pillar. Hello, Rayquaza. Meet my friend Ciela. Let's get this encounter. Finally, we can see what Team Oxygen's mascot is. It is a Groudon! Alright, that's a level 70! That's high level. That's a... That's a high level. Okay. Hello, Groudon. I need to think of a name for you. Okay. Well, level 70 Groudon. That's a nice addition to the team. Daruk or Darunia? We'll go Darunia. Classic Ocarina of Time Goron Chief. Alright, Darunia. Well, that feels good. Uh, let us fly on back over to here. All right, well, let's see what ability Darunia has. Probably at this point, no matter what it has, I'm gonna use it because level 70, that is high leveled. Synchronize, yeah, that's workable. Okay, I mean, yeah, yeah, that's good. That's a good Pokemon. Um, wish I had kept Earthquake for it. Next thing we have to do is just make our way through Victory Road. Which is going to be incredibly annoying, because I do not know the path around there at all. But here we go! Um, yep, okay, so we're gonna give Ciela Waterfall. We're gonna lose Wish, because we've never used it. <laughs> Alright, we're in Evergrande. And we will... Yep, use the Waterfall. Good work, Jirachi. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Alright. Um, yeah, no need to even heal. We just did that. Alright, Victory Road! Yes. Gotta get through this place. I think I have all the HMs I need. Oh, Wally. Are, are we fighting? We're fighting. Okay. Rival battle! Surprise! <laughs> oh, an Armaldo. I, I just fought one of those. Oh, but not with my Batro. We're gonna switch out Batro. Um, no thanks. We're gonna go into Veron. Yeah, I mean, you've got high-level Pokémon. Oh, they have nice Protect. Okay. But mine... Double Protect! Rude. My Pokémon are... 
better. That is my... Wow. Triple protect. That is my thesis. I have the better Pokemon. Okay, good damage. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Did a lot of damage. Oh, boy. Okay. We're fine. We're fine. No problem. <laughs> Good work, Veron. Thanks for taking that hit. Hollywhirl. Um, yeah, this is a bad true thing. Actually, wait. Does Hollywhirl get fighting type yet? I think it's. I think it's fighting type by now. Mm, intimidate. <laughs> Slightly annoying. Ah! Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh. oh! This is bad. Oh, this is real bad, guys. Oh no. Oh dear. Oh dear. Uh, what are the chances it's gonna throw out a water move here, huh? Huh? Water move? Um, oh, I don't want to lose Batro. Don't want to lose Batro. I don't want to lose Dinral either. It's got to be a water move coming out next, right? Making a prediction. Nope, it's not a water move. Okay, goodbye, Dinral. You, you did. Oh, <gasps> you took the attack. Oh, you god. You god among turtles. <laughs> Um, well, if Dinral can take it... Okay, here's what we have to do. We have to check summaries. Okay, um, your defense is 105. Um, yeah, I wanted to switch into Dekubaba, who might be able to take it, but... I think we have to do this with Dinral. Um, I think I have to heal. I'm gonna heal and just see if it makes a mistake, a misplay here. No, it's gonna keep going for Body Slam. So... Okay, yeah, so we go into Jirachi, because Jirachi will resist it. Um, and then we should be, we should outspeed it, I think. Resistance. I'm glad it didn't go for a water move, because yeah, water move in the rain on any Pokemon but Torkoal would be a problem. Okay, well, we, we dealt with the belly drum polywhirl. <laughs> that was a fun, that was a fun time. Uh, Sneasel, um, uh, yeah, we're gonna go into the, oh, we don't actually have a good thing for Sneasel, do we? Um, I'd want to just use Flamethrower, but Dinral is low health. Uh, Dekubaba can take it. It's got thick fat. Yeah, we're good. Even if it hits me with a nice type attack, we'll be fine. Okay, rain stops. Um, pretty sure I just want to go for strength. Okay, yeah, no strength rain attack. Okay. Okay, I think we're going to win this race here. Unless you start getting crits, that would be bad. Gosh, if every Elite Four battle is like this, we might be in some trouble. Uh, we will have a level 70 Groudon on the team at that point. Which, believe it or not, will help. Thank you for using your full restore on your sneeze all time. I'm not too concerned about this right now. Um, okay, I should be able to take one more hit. Heal. Good. Very good. Yeah, attack, alright. Good for strength. Hmm, what are Wally's last Pokemon gonna be? It's a little spooky. Definitely gotta fight the trainers in Victory Road. All 
Alright, good XP. Ooh, Matang. Um, I really do need to kind of get some Pokemon healed here. Let's go to Ciela. Oh, I could hit you with waterfalls, actually. I'm gonna I'm gonna spend a turn to heal Dinral, just to have it as another option. And then, yeah, I'll just try to take it out with waterfalls. Yeah, that's not good. We good. Alright, that'll be kind of... Ooh, that's scary. Oh, never mind, it's not that scary. Fortunately, steel gives us a resistance to dark. Which, which evens out. So. Yep, one more waterfall after this should do the trick. Or not. It's okay. As long as this Metang doesn't have something crazy like superpower. Be okay here. Yeah, it's just got no block. Wish I was a little bit faster. That would be nice. One more waterfall. Okay. Tang is down. Last Pokemon, Wally. What is your final Pokemon? Ooh. Ooh, Hariyama. Ooh. I mean, I would have liked to have just hit that with a Psychic, but I would have had to spend a turn healing. So I'm okay with going for fly. Ooh, level 45. <laughs> well, actually, that's okay. I think a fly should kill it in one hit from half health. <laughs> Wally's whole plan is just a belly drum. It didn't kill it. Mm -hmm. ah! Petro, please don't die here. Petro dies here. Huh. <sighs> Well, that's awkward. That is certainly awkward. Um, yeah, I mean, Ciela should outspeed. Because I, I don't want to spend a turn healing, I just have to attack. Let me check summaries for speed. Maybe 3, 6, 4, 3, 7, 5, 5. Yeah, okay. Uh, Ciela is my best bet to just outspeed and hit it with a psychic. Well, that is very sad to have lost Batro. It, it fought so hard and did so well. But uh, yeah, Belly Drum. Belly Drum is rough. Belly Drum. Yep, yep, that was a thick Kariyama right there. All right, Wally is down. Uh, but we are down one of our strongest members on the team. Uh, Molly, move please. I'd like to go back and deposit my friend into a box of dead Pokemon. Oh, hello, Sceptile. Oh, you're my encounter! Uh, we'll name this one Mido. Or Mido. His face. He's got Mido's expression. Alright, well, that was. That's okay. Um, we do lose Crobat to a very unfortunate belly drum experience. Let's put Batro in the box. It's a sad day. Oh, right, you have pickup. I was like, why are you holding an escape rope? That's okay, you can keep your escape rope. He was trying to get away from the cave. Uh, what ability does Mito have? Rock? Ooh, prevents recoil. I don't know that you get any recoil moves, but that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I think we're just gonna put Mito. Even oh, we've already got the game, yeah. Um, but it's got the level advantage. Darunia is eventually gonna be replacing. Um, Clefairy. So, yeah, we'll put Mito on for now. Alright, Wally, thanks for killing my bat friend. Alright. 
Next trainer battle. Are you gonna be as ridiculous as Wally was? No, you have a single Pokemon. It's a pseudo widow. Okay. Ooh, Ampharos. Oh, that would have been a cool encounter. Dang, Ampharos actually would have been really good. Sceptile is cool, but because we already have Meganium, it would have been really nice to have a strong Electric-type encounter. I'm just assuming I have to go everywhere that there is something being blocked by an HM. Alright, slowly leveling up Dinral. Go across the bridge, down the stairs. Hello, trainer. You're getting stage fright. You're, you, I don't think you're going to have to worry about it after this battle. Yeah, the levels on these Pokemon are... Uh, you know, it's, it's a lot. We are absolutely behind. It's an uphill battle from here. Alright, I think going down a level is probably good. Uh, more trainers, or we can go this way. That's a way back, okay. So we got another trainer fight coming up here. Um, we probably won't lead with Torkoal because it's already down on health. Oh, I zoom around. Meryl, just regular Meryl. You want to hit me with a water move and heal me? That'd be nice. Hey! That was very kind of you, Meryl. Thank you. Thank you for your cooperation. Shouldn't get complacent. There's always someone better than you. I doubt this. I'm setting myself up to fall real far. <laughs> I truly am the steam eruption Pokemon. Emphasis on the steam. Honestly, Water Absorb would actually make sense on Torkoal, because it is a steam Pokemon. Like, if it could take in water, that'd be kind of cool. That'd be a, a neat idea. Alright, get in the water. I hope I'm going the right way. Probably just go up these stairs, right? I'm assuming. Don't get too far off track. That's a dead end. That's another wild Pokemon. <sighs> it's a Deoxys. Yes! I think we got it. XP, XP, XP. Yeah! Good work, turtle! Ladder? Probably the right way to go? If I had to guess. <laughs> Spiro. <laughs> uh, the encounters here are just all over the place. It has pursued. Oh, item. Psychic. Okay. So that was not the right way to go. Ah, trainer. Right, so this gets us back to the beginning of this area. Right, so that we can surf. Or we can go across this bridge. Maybe the bridge is actually the right place to go. We're conserving our healing items. I could have just challenged these guys why am I why am I putting myself intentionally in bad situations? <laughs> Alright, come on, Spiros. But that we go. Ooh, Altaria. Uh no. No 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 that's bad, that's bad, that's bad. Oh no 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 no. Come on, Twister, do a lot of damage here. Ah! Okay. Um, as scary as the dragon dancing is, I need to psychic Breloom this turn. So that I'm not. So that my Twister is single target instead of double target. So yeah, we psychic Breloom and Twister again. Ooh! Okay. Okay, it, it did that. It went there. Okay, Berlium's down. This should be single target Twister now. And we can focus all of our efforts on the Altaria. Okay, that doesn't really do that much more damage. Um, is it worth switching out Ferron, or should I keep it in? I think we keep going for it. I think this is kind of what I just have to do. Oh, okay, good. It went into Jirachi. We'll take it. Yep, good. Might have been a problem if that had gone into Gyarados, but now I think we're fine. Yes, we're fine. All right, 
Well, that was that was definitely scary, but the AI played wrong, so we're good. Okay, another trainer battle, that's okay. I think I'm prepared for this. You must be getting a little tired. You have no idea. Get me out of this cave. I am done with this cave. a ladder. Oh, that's just an item. Not interested. Items aren't randomized. Don't need them. Good. Ah, oh, this is back somewhere I've already been. Climb the waterfall. Go up here, go around this way, and we will go down the other waterfall. There's our ladder. Okay. Please be close to being out. Oh, you turned. Okay, well, that's fine. I'll just fight one person. Okay, this has got to be the exit, right? It's got to be close to the exit. Yeah, push this down. Break this boulder. Ladder. Please tell me this is the exit. How much more is left of this place? The last stretch is long. Don't tell me that. I don't want to hear that there's more. I have two rare candies as well. Use them on the ground on. <laughs> Gotta get ground on higher leveled. <laughs> nice. Ooh, hydro pump. Yes, please. Um, I don't want to miss it. Bite has been nice. You know, Twister didn't actually do very much damage. But if there's a dragon type, I probably still want it. Nah, we're gonna lose Twister. If there's a dragon, I just have to deal with that. Alright, well, if there's any more trainers after this, it's gonna be rough. I really hope this is the end of the cave. Be done. Under all. Okay, I can skip those two. <gasps> Is this it? Is this the end? Please tell me this is the end. Uh, one more encounter. Just a parasect. I'm gonna run away. Let me out. <laughs> I'm so done. <laughs> Wanna leave? Yes. Yes. I made it. Oh my gosh! Next episode is the finale. One way or the other, it all ends. Yes, I can buy full restores now. They're expensive. Next versions are... I've got a bunch of those. I'm actually just going to buy more full restores. Why not? I can't afford... Okay, I'll buy five more. Full heal honey driving bag. 30? Alright. Yeah. At the start of the next episode, we will get our team set up, but... Pretty sure we're going with... Everyone but Malin here. I think we're just switching out Malin for the Groudon. But yeah! Thanks for watching that episode. There were some close calls. We lost Batro. Rest in pieces. Our noble bat friend. But yeah, next episode is the finale. Fingers crossed we can make it through. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you next week. Adios.